Hello class, welcome to Like Now But Worse, the show that takes crazy history seriously and serious history crazily. I am your host, Jeremy Hudson, and easily my third favorite Jeremy on YouTube. Today we will be discussing the Titanic, the largest and most devastating tragedy the world had ever seen until 9-11 came around and nined all over our 11s and also some planes. Now I'm sure many of you only know Titanic as the nearly unwatchable movie that was without a doubt the worst part of 1997. Granted, that means it outranks both the North Hollywood shootout and the Heaven's Gate mass suicide in terms of awfulness, and that is something I will have to live with. Can't segue... So I won't. The Titanic, far from only being a place where Leonardo DiCaprio boned and then got boned by Kate Winslet, was the largest and most luxurious ship ever built at the time. Features included a swimming pool, gymnasium, squash court, and a Turkish bath, which included electric bath, steam room, cool room, massage room, and hot room, because anything worth doing was worth overdoing. Electric bath, what is that? But that's not all. There were also several restaurants, lounges, absurdly decadent first class accommodations, nicely decorated staterooms for the second class, and even a place for poor people so everyone else didn't have to look at their gross faces. In general, the ship was hashtag overkill in every way. That's weird. Gonna keep it. The maiden voyage was a tale as old as time. Ship meets water, people meet ship, ship meets iceberg, ship meets ocean floor, and ship introduces people to water. Not all of them, but most. Many people are quick to blame the architect, Thomas Andrews, who designed the ship and went down with it. Others would place the blame on Captain Edward Smith, who veered the Titanic off course at ludicrous speeds in an attempt to cross the Atlantic faster than anyone had ever done, and then died because of that thing I just said. Personally, I blame the man who put him up to it. Allow me to introduce the managing director of the White Star Line, the one and maybe only J. Bruce Ismay, who ended up not dying in on or near the now perfect case for not tempting fate. Accounts vary as to what actually went down, I mean, aside from the ship, we kind of have a consensus on that one. Mr. Ismay swore he merely suggested the captain conduct a speed test if time permitted, whatever that means. If you try going faster, you automatically have more time. That's... that's right, right? <laughs> Most other versions, however, have Mr. Ismay daring, pressuring, and otherwise berating a mostly retired and old-ass man into taking a more direct route and driving as fast as legally allowed. Fun fact, at the time of the incident, the Titanic actually had more lifeboats on board than were required by law, but still only enough for about half its passengers, and only enough for about a third of its maximum occupancy. Truly the ship was hashtag overkill in every possible way. And while women and children were given priority, guess what managing director of the White Star Line made it onto one of the lifeboats? Vote now in the comments section. I will wait. Whoever it was, he spent the rest of his life being crucified by the media, although not literally, as that had fallen out of fashion some time ago. Any questions? The Titanic. About the Titanic. And yeah. It's real hard-hitting journalism we have here. Yeah. Calling out the Titanic. Oh yeah. Nobody's ever done Merely that. a mere 106 years after it sank. It's... <laughs> yeah. We're kind of on the point. I mean, it's arguably not topical anymore, but you know, I'm not arguing about it. No, not. So, yeah, yeah it's not my problem. I'm sure not. So I guess uh, I gotta yeah. ask a question. Yep, and in the future, to try and submit a question for our question round, be sure to check out our Facebook page where we will be posting things for future episodes. Questions that you can ask us. Yeah. We're talking to you. Exactly. Yeah. Kevin. Kevin, ask and a Steve. damn question, Mike. All right, get off your ass. Yeah and do something with the three minutes or whatever that you spent watching this video. Exactly. Yeah. Please watch it for more than three yeah, minutes. Yeah, because it's probably going to be Two. longer than that. <laughs> it's definitely. <laughs> yeah. They're usually longer than that. So, um, all right, Jeremy. So far, 100% of the time. I yeah. have a question. Me. I bet you yeah, do. Yeah, you damn right I do. If you could have been in any of the levels of the Titanic, mm -hmm. uh, where would you have wanted to be? The ones nearest the lifeboat? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not, no, not with prior knowledge. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, clearly, first class is the way to go. Obviously, I would have had to sneak on and uh, probably kill 
Bill, whoever was staying in first class, to be in one of those rooms. I mean, is that is that but, the people uh, you want to be hanging out with? Are those your people? First class people? I, I'm not. I mean, I I'm wish. not first class people. I know. Well, do, we oh. we can tell. Oh, okay. And and you just yeah. you are. No. <laughs> and they can tell. <laughs> they can tell. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like first class would be the go-to answer, right? Yeah, obviously, because right. they have the nicest. Do, but uh, do you still yeah. have to pay for? On the Titanic? I mean, not if I do what I was planning to do, which is sneak on, <laughs> and I guess a murder. Yeah. I just went straight yeah, for it. Yeah, that's, I mean, if you're going straight for murder, because, like, then you can just put everything on a dead dude's tab. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess that makes sense. Okay. Kind of a dumb question. Yeah. But you know what? Just put it on his old-timey credit card? Or was it just, uh... You know, I think they used... I think they were floppy pieces of paper. Yeah, you know, they used to use rings for that, actually, for quite a while. But, well, like, yeah. your heraldic ring if you were from like a big family you know you could pretty much be like uh and they'd be like oh okay i guess you own just the tavern uh... now it's <laughs> 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 just like yeah i do get out of my face yeah. look at my lion it's, ring bitch. Uh, it was a simpler time it was you... some might argue a better time others probably like us would argue that it's now. no we would argue that it's like now but worse <laughs> Oh, that's the title of the show. All right, so put two minutes, which is certainly not an arbitrary number, no. on the no, clock. We thought this through. Uh, we did some we math. Did. We did some calculating. It was scientifically proven to be the best number ever, so shut up. <laughs> uh, well said, sir. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's going. Yeah. It didn't turn out great. You know, this this was a it was a real bummer. Not great. It kind of was. Yeah. You know what? I think uh, all things considered, it could have gone a bit better. <laughs> uh, yeah, like you, you touched on it quite a bit in the episode, but you know, what, what what's got to be going through your mind as as the captain, right? Like, not that's a level of <laughs> ego that is kind of hard to comprehend. Like. Not only is he not only is he willing to uh, risk his ship and uh, risk uh, his own. It's not like he's just risking his ship or something that belongs to him or like his reputation. He's got like thousand people that he's going to well, yeah. murder for his and own I think, ego. I think the craziest thing is that he pretty much did it he did, yeah. to get the managing director just to shut right up. yeah <laughs> like okay i will go faster can you just get it steve i am mostly <laughs> retired yeah I'd like he's like you know i just want to knock this one out i'm gonna put it on the old resume and i'm gonna tie that up you know he's just trying to wrap exactly. up his career here and uh yeah. he's gonna do whatever <laughs> it takes exactly yeah. it's yeah, I actually have a, a, a better question than the one I asked in the question round, which was hella well, weak. The, but uh, the, the, hella the, weak. The, the, do we know if he for sure, like, actually historically went down with the ship? Yes, we do. He, he, he went down with the ship, you know, probably a boss move. Oh, definitely a boss move. Just like, if you're on a ship, is there a boss yeah. move? Well, there was uh, one guy on the ship. Uh, he was, he was ah! uh, like head of. That's two minutes. Cool. So this has been like now, but worse. If you like it, then like, I, I share it, I guess. And if you don't, I mean, you still could. I won't tell. So yeah. That's a uh, that's a cut there. Boom. Woo. Five minutes thirty-eight.